Hello, and welcome to your personal portal. My name is Michael, and I'll be walking you through how to use your portal and why it's important to provide us all the details of your very special event. And you know, given different types of events, you'll have a different uh, name here. So let's plan your company event. Let's plan your wedding. And also, it's going to have all of your information here. So we'll kind of go right through this. This is going to be your home page, as you see here. And here, it's going to have your event date, um, also the, the title of your event, have it be, you know, Susie uh, and John's wedding and or, you know, Pepsi Cola's corporate event. Um, and then here we have how many days from today is your event. Um, and then, you know, it's kind of a countdown just to kind of help you guys not procrastinate as we know everybody likes to. Um, but, uh, it's a good kind of, you know, reminder of how much time we have until the actual date of the event. Also, we have every single email that we've ever sent down here in the right hand corner. And you can also go and view all uh, as well. So that's a way to keep track of everything that we've sent you. So you don't have to go digging through your email. Um, as well. And then also one of the good things is we have a contact uh, page here. And so here, this is where you're going to be able to send us information as well. And then by doing it uh, here, you'll also, it'll also show up here as well. So and that's just a good way that we can keep everything all in one place. Now, how are you going to get here? That's where, what we're going to do is we're going to send you, it's going to be an email that's going to look just like this. Um, and then it's going to basically let you know that we want to personalize your event. So again, if it's going to be a different type of event, uh, it would state that here. Um, and then you're just going to click here. And then once you click here, it's going to take you directly to your portal here. So um, that's where you'll be able to have your dashboard and it'll be all customized uh, specifically to your event. Um, and then to get started, um, we're going to go ahead and click on plan my event. Now here, again, you're going to see your event date, and uh, we'll go through a few different things. Now here we have your music, and this is really awesome because we basically are able to customize uh, your music um, and even allow your guests to pick music as well. And so just to kind of give you an idea, it's super simple. Just click uh, Add a Request. Now in here, we also do have you know, by artist. So if you were to say you wanted to look up prints, um, you know, then we'd have, you know, uh, a whole bunch of different print songs um, as well, like, you know, Prince 1999. And our database is pretty elaborate and we're updating it all of the time. If for some reason you don't see a song here, you can always click on add your own and you can go ahead and type in the artist. So we'll just use Prince as an example. Um, and then you'll put the song title, you know, 1999. Uh, and then we have a few different categories here. It's songs you'd love to hear, songs we'd like to hear, dedications. And a good example of a dedication is maybe you have Aunt Susie and Uncle Bob coming in from town and, and your mom knows their first dance song. That's something we can play for dinner and we can always do dedication there. And or if it's a corporate event, um, let's say that you guys have a specific theme song that you guys use to kind of pump you guys up in the office or something that you guys have um, created or maybe – the CEO's you know, alma mater is the um, UCLA or some college um, theme song uh, as well. That's something that you guys could play. So um, that's a good place to do dedications. And then also you get to put comments. So if, say, we were going to do a dedication here, we could literally put uh, Aunt uh, Susie and Uncle Bob's uh, first dance song. Um, you know, something along those lines. And you click Save. And then it's going to go here and you'll be able to view everything as well. And you can delete it at any other time as well. Um, so that's just kind of how you add your own. Of course, you can go through artists, songs. And then one of my favorites is top hits. So sometimes people uh, may want to get a little bit of suggestions. So we have our top 200 songs. And these are our top 200 songs from the guests that uh, requested last year. Our system will automatically update that as well. And then to add this, you literally just click on this what section you want it to play and then also you can put in your your notes here as well uh, so so it's really a super user friendly and the great thing is you can also uh, go ahead and listen as an example here to the songs as well so it's really really powerful also so that's our top 200 dance songs from all event types 
Then we have uh, decades. So, you know, a lot of times we play the older. So we have a lot of the crooners. We have the Dean Martin, the Frank Sinatra here as well, along with uh, the 60s. You know, I mean, R-E-S-P-C-T, you know, it's a great song as well. Um, and then also all the way up to the two, uh, you know, the 2000s and the, and the 10,000s as well, which is the more current songs. Also, we have, it's going to be uh, wedding songs. So like, let's say introduction or grand entrance songs. These are always great suggestions as well. And then we also have, um, you know, bride and groom. This is more for um, your actual wedding as well. Um, first dances. And then also we have father daughter dances and so on. So we have a lot of great suggestions here for weddings. Now, if you're with like a lot of our clients and you've been working on your uh, playlist for a long time um, and you have it in Spotify, you actually can connect your Spotify here. And then by doing that, you'll then be able to uh, just go ahead and click and add your playlists uh, that you've already created to our um, section here as well, which is really awesome. Now, um, also one great thing is that, you know, a lot of events have a lot of special moments and have it be, um, we have, uh, it's going to be um, pre-ceremony and that's going to be what we play before the guests uh, or as the guests are arriving or before your ceremony. Then we have the processional. This is the song that's played as your, as your bridal party or the bride is walking down the aisle. And then we have the recessional which is when you're walking down. So we have all these special moments. What's really great about that is, for example, if you wanted to add a song to one of your special moments, you'd literally just go ahead and click on, um, you know, uh, the special time. You can put comments like, you know, start at, you know, the 30 second uh, mark. And then that's what we would play. Or you can do, you know, fade out after, you know, one and a half minutes, you know, something like that. Um, and so, and, you know, it could even be something along the lines of, um, you know, uh, don't start until we are in position. So sometimes people are doing their uh, choreographed dances because we also do offer dance lessons as well. And so a lot of times they need to start in a very specific position before we start the song as well. And all that information can be uh, put there as well. So also for corporate events, a lot of times you might have some VIP speakers or certain special moments that we, uh, we need to play a specific song. We also have those customized for a corporate event as well. Um, so that's pretty much the music. Now, one of the great things also is that you can have guest requests. And what this means is that basically you can go ahead and you can uh, take this URL and you can maybe hyperlink it into your custom website that you're making for your party. Um, or you can uh, email it to people and, and, you know, link it into the email as well so that they can click on that. And so just to kind of show you what this is going to actually look like is if we open up a new tab, uh, it's going to look something like this. They're going to basically select the day of your event. So let's just say it's this and then put in the password um, and then they'll be able to go ahead and um, enter in uh, the selections there as well. So super user friendly all they got to do is know the date and the password which is uh this password right here and so for for this specific event um we have the date it's going to be december 30th 2020 so we'll just go ahead and put december 30th 2020 and then the password and then uh we're going to put in so the name so like a lot of times people will want to know uh what uh who who did it so let's i'll just put my name michael and then get started and then they can go ahead and then they can um, see what the other guests have selected. Also go to the top hits as well. And then let's go ahead and just add, you know, don't stop believing. Um, and then, you know, of course, we create a, a limit also for how many they can select. So a lot of times we want to use uh, the client, use your list primarily and also trickle in some of the guests as well. And sometimes if the client wants the guests to all pick, we increase that limit as well. And we can do that. So. That's really a fun uh, way to share the experience with everybody as well. And one of the great things is you can also um, print everything that you um, would like to fill out here. You'll be able to actually print all the requests and all the forms here as well. Now, here are some examples of some forms that we provide. Um, and this is just to kind of give you an idea. So, you know, we have wedding color and theme. 
a lot of times people are like, okay, you're the DJ, um, you know, event planners. Maybe why do you need this? And a lot of times we want the DJ or the um, the team to know your colors to see if we can match. Um, if you have, let's say, a fall wedding with maybe some oranges. Uh, we don't want someone coming in with the bright blue, um, you know, tie or pocket square if we can match the theme uh, as much as possible. Same thing with the colors that the bridesmaids are wearing, how many guests. Now, this is important because it allows us to kind of get an idea of how large the room is, also how many speakers or lights that we may need to bring um, to make sure to fill up that room um, to have the, the best look possible. Also, we look for contacts um, of the people that are at the venue, also the vendors as well. And a lot of times the photographer, videographer, photo booth um, is us. Um, then you just put special event DJs. Um, and then also you can put the catering, the florist, uh, and we also do the planning as well. But it's important to, to list any of these people so that we can make sure to communicate them if we, with them if we need to. Also following that is also the attire. I mean, typically, um, or where we're going to be eating. Um, so typically, we, you know, we eat in another, another area. Typically, our standard is kind of a suit and tie. Um, but a lot of times people are having more of a casual event and we don't want to be overdressed. So you can basically select that here as well. Um, and then it goes on asking more questions about, you know, if they're going to be kids, um, you know, uh, questions about the lighting and the allergies. Um, and then also for cocktail hour and cocktail hour does persist in most events. It's pretty much the first hour kind of leading up to the big event. And, you know, do you, what type of music do you want us to play? You can get preferences here and, or you can let us know if it's going to be in the same room or not. And then also if you have any suggestions as well. Um, then also we do have introductions, you know, are we going to be introducing the grandparents and the parents as well? Um, and then also how, how do you want it to be announced as well? Um, and then as it goes on, the bridal party and the, and the groomsmen. Now this is really important because... The way the order that you put this in is the order that the DJ is going to ask that they line everybody up. So if there's a specific order you want everybody to enter into, which is normally the opposite order of how everybody exits the wedding, being the bride and groom are normally the first to uh, exit once you've been married through your recessional. Um, through the grand entrance, normally our VIPs would be the bride and groom that will enter at the end. So please keep that in mind when... Um, when filling out this section of the form. Um, also, we have maid or matrons of honor. Uh, just in case you're not sure, matron means that they're married uh, and maid means unmarried as well. Um, any notes that you'd like us to give in regards to the introduction is great here as well. Um, we also do ask, um, how would you like us to introduce? And this could be both for a corporate or a wedding. Um, you know, do you want us to be high, high energy or do you want it to be more formal um, in regards to the introduction, and we're happy to do uh, either or, whichever you do prefer. And, uh, then it goes on to dinner, uh, what type of music you want for dinner, and then also the activities that will be going on in regards to um, your, your, your wedding um, or event. Uh, so that's really good to know so that we can plan ahead as well. Um, and then are we going to be taking requests? Sometimes people say yes, sometimes people say no. Um, and of course, all requests will also be appropriate requests, um, and they won't be just, um, you know, random requests from, you know, uh, Uncle Bob, who doesn't, it's not even a dance song. So um, if you can, uh, feel free to, to check that. Also, um, social media is important. Do you want us to share you with social media um, or do you not? Uh, I'd say 90% of clients don't mind, but there is that small percentage of people who do. So we want to make sure to respect your wishes. And, um, you know, if you do have a hashtag or something, we can also utilize that to let everybody know at the, at the party as well. So, um, you know, also if there's any other instructions, feel free to um, fill out that information uh, here as well. And then um, you know, also we have, you know, when you go on the honeymoon, things like that, because we want to make sure we know when we'll be sending the, the information, uh, maybe the follow up, how do we do review event, uh, evaluations and things like that as well. And once you click save, then you're, you're good to go. Um, and again, you could then go ahead and you could actually print that, um, form, maybe share with other vendors as well. We have bridal trivia games and contests and games and contests. We can play both kids, kids events. 
um, corporate events, adults events, weddings, you name it. And then we also do offer karaoke services like no other. Super awesome, super fun, integrating with iPads and everyone's cell phone that they can utilize to pick the songs. It's really a great experience that we that we provide. Um, also, photography planning. Now, this is important if we're doing the photography so that we can plan all of the shots. We can make sure to uh, get the shots that you guys are that are important to you. Um, which is um, what we want to make sure to do. And also same thing for videography. And we do this for both uh, weddings, corporate events, and birthday parties, et cetera. So we can get that taken care of. Now, um, the timeline is going to be specific to your event as well. And this is very important uh, because here, this is where what we're going to do is we're going to go off of this. Um, this will be kind of our, our Bible for the day where, you know, whatever it is that you put here, we're going to do. If it's not here, um, it makes it more difficult to do live. But I can tell you a lot of times things may move around and that's okay. And we've already put them in the order that they pretty much will happen. And so it's super awesome. You can basically just click on it and then you're going to see it's going to pop up there. Or you can actually grab it and drag it and drop it wherever you'd like. And then you can go here and you can also move it as well. And if you want to move it down, because a lot of times, let's say, uh, you're, you're going to have, uh, we have the, wedding arrival, we have vendor arrival, and then, and then, or let's say we put the guest arrival and they're like, oh wait, we need to put the vendor arrival in between. You just click this and then you can go ahead and squeeze that in. And then you can go ahead and, and put in the times here and then, you know, so on and so forth um, as, as things arrive. So it's super awesome. And then one of the things is, do you remember when we put in that special song? Now the cool thing is, is that we put in the special song um, I believe it was uh, this one, this, the Mother Sundance. So we, we click on that. Now, once we've clicked on it, you see it's also going to include uh, the the name, and then also it includes the uh, information uh, if you'd put any there as well. So that's something that's really helpful for uh, the DJ as well. And then once you're done, um, you can go ahead and click Save, changes. And again, this is something that you're going to want to export to the other vendors as well. So it's really great, easy um, system for you guys. Also, you can click on your event details. And then here is where you can get an idea of the event date, setup time, um, and then also the different services that we're offering and who is going to be your, your DJ, your planner, and then also what they're going to be uh, wearing as well. So it's really great. And then also this is where you can make a payment as well, where you'll be able to pay there as well if you, that's something that um, uh, you're, you're making a deposit or a payment. That's where you'd be making the payment as well. Um, also, if you have multiple events with us, they'd be listed here. Also, here's your profile with all of your information. Um, and, uh, you know, if any of this is incorrect, please let us know. Um, and feel free to, to edit the information as well if, if you need be um, and save it. So it's always good um, that we get as much information so that if we you know, have a thank you card or something we'd like to mail to you, uh, we get it to you and it doesn't come back to us as well. Um, also, again, here's all our contact information, um, our telephone number, email address, and website. And if you have anything that you guys would like to make any changes or anything like that, you can put that here. Um, and then also, you can do that, uh, I believe, here as well um, under event details is you can actually, uh, I believe you can request changes here uh, at the bottom. And then when you do that, so let's say you wanted to add some more lighting, um, so you change date, time, or venue, um, you just click something here and then you can change it as well. And or you can give us a contact and then just put it in here and we'll be able to go ahead and make that those changes for you as well. So I hope this has been helpful. You can go ahead and log out and then uh, you'll be good to go. Um, and then do keep in mind that this is going to be specialeventdjs.net versus our main website is .com. So that's the only big difference. So thank you so much for taking this time. And I hope that this has been helpful. Take care and party on.